Hey Cancer, happy October. I hope you guys had a really good September. Today we're going to go into your October 2018 forecast and in this video we're going to do your general reading and what I'm feeling for you in, in the general sense of how October is going to go for you is I feel like you are feeling happy and excited. Okay, so we're going to qualify this later, but you guys are feeling happy, you guys are feeling excited because it's fall, Halloween is coming up, you want to hang out with your friends, you like the cold weather, you want to drink the pumpkin spice lattes, cinnamon, nutmeg, well I guess that's more Christmas, but the whole pumpkin, fall, Halloween spirit. I'm going to qualify it though. So you guys are very excited about that, you guys are super excited about that, but part of the reason why you're excited about that is because you are kind of trying to mask in your own minds a lot of the issues that are happening in your life because I think that at work things aren't really working out. There's some kind of issue there. I think maybe with your family you had some kind of argument happen there with somebody very, someone you're close to or someone you respect or someone that you really love. Maybe it happened with a best friend. And so a lot of things aren't really going well in your life and the only way to stay upbeat and positive is to focus on things that you can be excited about like Halloween and the weather and season and all of that. And so someone could say you're, you're excited about that because the rest of your life is falling apart. To which you would say no. <laughs> But isn't it kind of falling apart a little bit, wouldn't you say? There's a lot of areas of your life that are having some issues. So let's talk about those issues then. So with regards to your, your family, you may feel like the other person was unfair to you in some way. And that could definitely be the case. But maybe also think about how maybe you were actually unfair to them. And maybe to your, to your best friend. It could be the same situation. And you might think, well... I'm a good person, so I couldn't have been unfair to them. To which I would say, yes, you are definitely a good person, no argument there, you're very, very nice. But the second part of that, so I couldn't have done something that was inconsiderate to them? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> so what I'm getting is that maybe you were a little bit inconsiderate, maybe you didn't think about their feelings. You probably had the best intentions. You are a nice person, but maybe you didn't think about how what you were doing or how you were coming across or what you were saying. Maybe you weren't thinking about how that could make the other person feel. You weren't being aware of what you were putting out there in that relationship. And so I would say really reflect on that. Think about that. Think about how maybe you played a part in the situation that you're dealing with. And if you find that maybe there was something that you may have overlooked, I, I don't think, I think you guys are very nice and you, you did your best, but maybe there's something you overlooked. So reflect on that and try to see what did I overlook? And when you find it, go out there and make the apology and build that bond back up again. And with work, if it involves another person, I feel like this is related to that as well. Maybe you rub them the wrong way and I feel like they're probably higher up on the food chain than you are if it's a per, uh, people situation. If it's not related to people, like the issue isn't related to people, then maybe you need to make amends with somebody who can help you with your problem, who maybe you've rubbed the wrong way. So yeah, that's what I really think you guys should think about this month. And if you find that you have been the one that overlooked something or maybe you were inconsiderate and you didn't realize how maybe you came across. Go ahead and make the apology. Build those amends. Don't don't drag this out because just go for it. End the situation. Say what you need to say and build that bond so you guys can both move on with your lives in, the, in a happier way. That would be my only recommendation. And this is actually a general reading. We're, all, we're also going to do a career reading and a love reading and then I'm also going to pull an oracle card for you. Those will all be in separate videos. So three more videos to come. They'll all be They'll all, they should all be out today because I'm going to put them all out on the same day. So I know we talked about career here and we talked a little bit about, well, we didn't talk about romantic relationships, but we talked about relationships here. We will have another career reading as well. So make sure to watch that and see if, that, see if it resonates. And this concludes this video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like and comment. Comment below and I will see you in my next video.